Miami River. This section is going to be rough for some people. I will tell you that right now. We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the world. This week, we're doing a race that definitely checks both those boxes. The Trans Andes Challenge, a five-day stage race in Chilean Patagonia. Over the five stages, we'll be riding 180 miles and climbing 30,000 feet through some of the most stunning terrain on Earth. Volcanoes, rivers. Oh, this is a cool bridge. Volcanic rivers. We'll be joined this week by our good friends, Lo and Joe, who we somehow convinced to try this as their first ever mountain bike stage race. After two very wet days, the rain has finally abated, but we're still in for a major challenge. Today is the queen stage, the longest and hardest day of the race. In many stage races, the queen stage is, say, 50% longer and harder than the other stages, but not here. Today's stage is 65 miles long with 10,000 feet of climbing, close to double the stats of the previous two days. To be honest, I am incredibly nervous. Me too. Um, it is a long day. It is a long day. Today, we'll be battling our demons, which is to say doing a lot of climbing on gravel roads. And we find ourselves in some pretty dark places. I'm not even half the way up this climb, so I am recalibrating my expectations. And then for Sid, it all goes wrong in the last half mile. Oh, this is a pile of suck. These videos are made possible by our Patreon team. Without them, we wouldn't be doing events like this on the other side of the world. To say thank you, we're releasing these videos there early. Catch episode four now on Patreon. Okay, time to tackle the queen stage. Today, is the big day. The hard part is, well, it's gonna be hard. It's like 60 miles and 10,000 feet of climbing. But the other hard part is figuring out how to bring enough calories. The last couple of days have been more in the two, two and a half hour range. I've been able to do two bottles of super fuel and that's it. Today though, I need more calories than that. I'm estimating four hours, 400 calories an hour. So that's 1600 calories that I need to bring. Gonna do two and a half packs of chews and two bars, a super fuel, and my pack. I think that'll be fine. I just have to actually eat the two bars. What you got there, Lo? This is approximately 1,000 calories of drinkable <laughs> calories. sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stop due to the time cutoff that I'm very stressed about. I went with this method. <laughs> <laughs> I go to your shoulder. You have the same torso height as me. How are you feeling about today? Um, to be honest, I am incredibly nervous. Me too. Um, it is a long day. It is a long day. Yesterday was half of what we're doing today, so uh -huh. if it took me four hours yesterday, today equals eight hours, plus I'm tired, add 10%. Uh, if you do an eight hour total time, you will make the cutoff, no problem. I don't know, because it's yeah. 62 out there. 62 kilometers, which is what, like 10 miles? So yeah, I'm gonna it. <laughs> I don't know about the kilometer. Whatever, I'm very nervous about that, but as everybody's pointed out, there would be a lot of people that would also be hosed if yeah. I don't make it. I think if you don't make the cutoff, they've miscalculated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? Come on, it's not like you raised your bike for five, six hours over the past two days. Yeah. Go a little bit slower. I brought a ton of food. I brought some Fireball just in case <laughs> I need that. As well. Fireball is for cramping and then just feeling better if things are bad. Uh, and it's really small, just a little shooter. Uh, doesn't hurt your watt kg at all. Don't drink too much though, but just like one little shooter and you'll race way better. I haven't used it yet. Oh. Yeah. Man, I'm in trouble. So you're <laughs> saying that <laughs> Joe Sans Fireball <laughs> is beating Sid. Like, <laughs> No matter how you look at it, it's a long way that to go on day, day three. Today's stage starts out with the same rollout and gravel road climb as day one, but instead of looping back through the bike park, it heads east on a combination of steep logging and gravel roads. Then, after a short section of pavement and a neat suspension bridge, we execute a 26-mile loop back to the aid station, which also acts as the time cutoff. Make it through the loop by 3 p.m. or you'll be riding back via the road instead of the trail. If you do make it in time though, it's back to the bike park via the same logging and gravel roads, 
with a fun single track descent to finish off the day for a total of 65 miles and 10,000 feet of climbing. Two minutes from the start and Mackie has removed his grip. It's stressing me out. This is really stressful. That was one minute. Now that we're grinding up the first big climb of the day, it seems like a perfect time to thank the sponsor of this video, Shocks. Without some tunes, I don't know how I would have gotten through this day. We talk a lot about the benefits of bone conduction headphones and how you can still hear what's going on around you and carry on conversations with other racers. You'll see evidence of this throughout the video. Auto, auto. But another thing we really like is this button on the side that allows you to easily pause and restart your music as well as skip songs. I found myself using this button a lot today. There were points where I absolutely needed music to kickstart myself mentally, and other points where I needed to dial back the stimulation and tune into what my body was telling me. With Shocks, I was able to have both, and it made a tough day a little easier. Check out the link in the description to learn more about Shocks headphones. Now, let's check back in and see how Mackie is handling this climb. Okay, putting the hurt on me. We have a long ways to go. But yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> well, this climb is no joke. Okay. First high point. Nice and steady, nice and steady. Got a lot of time left. Derecho, derecho, pero por la mano, eh. Okay. Exciting. I think I saw a flash of Federico as he was going through that part and I was maybe a minute away so he's got a pretty good gap on me despite the descent that we just had. This is epic.
What's that? Oh, okay. Oye, amigo. Tu pareja tiene algún problemita. Creo que sí. Parte, parte un poco más para allá con las rocas. ¿Qué puede pasar cuando voy? A ver, voy para este lado. Gracias. Gracias. I would have liked to take that one a wee bit faster, but wishes for fishes. Okay. <laughs> Poco peligroso eso. Pero igual peor en estos zapatos, ¿no? Muchísimas gracias. Okay, we're walking through a fucking waterfall. That's something. That's an adventure for sure. Wow, this climb is brutal. This part is steep and significantly less steep than the part that I just came up. We're walking up very nasty and apparently very long steep hill. Walking does not feel good today. Oh, blackberries. Really would like to stop and pick some blackberries. Now on a bigger road and just past Federico and the moto guy, who just passed me back, but it looks like Federico got a flat tire on that descent. Okay, eat, Mackie, eat, 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 eat. Just stopped and gave my multi tool to the guy who needed a chain break. So, um, hopefully, nothing happens. I was like, give it to me if you pass me, or if not, at the finish. Let's take stock. Legs are definitely tired, which, uh, well, looking at this, I'm maybe a third of the way through the race. So that's not great. I got very lucky in that Federico got a flat, but that guy is so strong that I suspect he'll be able to fix it and still catch back up. This is a beautiful view. This trail is a little uh, navigationally challenging, kind of a freshie, which of course we love. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, don't look at the view, Sid. We're not here to look at the view. Wow, okay, I'm looking at the view. Oh my god. Oh, this is a cool bridge. Unlock suspension. Oh, hi, sheep. Man. Two hours and 40 minutes and looking at the elevation profile I'm not even half the way up this climb so I am recalibrating my expectations for the length of this race and guessing more in the five hour range so I'm gonna need to get some stuff the aid station when I pass it on the way back. This is a 
looking a little more interesting. I think it's gonna look like this to the top. And hopefully it is not too far away. Whoa. Oh. oh crap. It moves. I don't like it at all. Ah! Oh, shit. Eso no me gusta para nada. Me van a tirar por la puente. Sí. Bueno. Gracias. Oh, that was horrifying. I thought I was going to throw up. It was like... I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but when all those guys were on the other side, they were like, I don't know if they were bouncing intentionally or if that was just how it was. The horizon was doing a whole whoop de doo on me. Also, I told Mackie there was a suspension bridge and he was like, no, I don't think that's what they said. There was, I was right. I have some cantaloupe, I have a potato. That's it. Just what you want to see, a wall. I just had to stop and pee, which was kind of a production with the pack and bibs and the whole ordeal. Okay, I can see light ahead. So, I think I'm finally close to the top. I definitely took it out of me. Guess it starts off with a nice little log over, or big log over. Okay, this is cool. Drink, drink, drink. Just took a quick little pee break because I did not want to be distracted on this descent because I want to rip this descent and make up some good time. Or put some good time, rather. Wow, this trail is crazy. All right, I think we might finally be going down the hill. Oh god, what the f Okay, apparently I was supposed to go over this log. I didn't film for a while there, but we uh, climbed 3,000 feet on a very steep, sticky road. And mentally, what the f is this? Okay, mentally, I was not doing so hot. I just did the fastest battery change, which I didn't want to do. But this descent seems like it's going to be cool, so hopefully it was worth the... Uh, 30 second stop. Apparently all I'm gonna film this descent is me walking over trees. Huge freaking tree. Turn. Remember, Matt, he's slow in, fast out. There we go. Getting close to the end of the loop. And then it's just that whole beginning part, but backwards. Yeah, it's defending a fire road. Like, this is hard work on the hands. I, I am breaking so hard the whole time. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is.
Well, the aid station crew was awesome. Got me going real fast. I did some banana, some watermelon, a bar that they had there, and then took another bar and filled up my waters. I think that should do me. Dale, dale. Hey, Mike, yeah. Starting to pass some people who are coming out. Dale, dale. Gracias. Back across the cool bridge. I'm glad nobody was coming the other way. And the mouse stuffed with gummy bears and a potato in each hand. Oh, wow. Like I said, stage racing wasn't gross. I hate this so much. Just look ahead, Sid. It's like a skinny, only moving. Look ahead, don't throw up your potato. Okay, starting the last big climb. And it doesn't go up quite as high as the first two. Well, as the first, second one, but fairly close. And I have a pretty good idea of what it looks like because I rode down it earlier today. So yeah, that's gonna be hard, extremely hard. And uh, time consuming, extremely time consuming. There's still a certain amount of racing left. I'm getting pretty, pretty darn tired. Like I said, get your together. Only 15 miles and like 3,000 feet of climbing left. Like a walk in the park. Kind of at that point where I'm struggling a bit mentally because I've come to the realization that my what I was hoping to do time-wise is probably not realistic considering hoping to do like six-ish hours probably can't average 12 miles an hour with 3,000 feet of climbing that sounds unlikely to happen so have two Snickers bars for when things get really dire. Bien. Yeah, see? But uh, no, say, no, no me esperes. Porque creo que voy a morir cuando va más inclinada. Yeah, no way. So far, I haven't seen Joe, which I think means he's behind. Unless he really pulled off a miracle at the start. And I'm gonna play a game where I take a sip of water or eat something every hundred feet of elevation that I go. Right now we're at 7,400 climbs. What should I eat at 7,500? All right, 7,500 feet. I think that deserves some more. Five hours and nine minutes. Congratulations, Sid. You have climbed 8,000 feet. You have unlocked a Snickers bar. All on the melty side, but I'm not mad. Oh man, that's so just topics I am not allowed to think about right now. Uh, topic number one, how long Mackie has been done. Well, now that I got some calories in me, I just did the like first course pasta thingy. Topic number two, how much I have left. Now I'm going to take a shower, lie down for a second. Topic number three, whatever the blazing hell is in front of us right now, which is yet another fire road wall. Then time for a massage. I think it's time for the other Snickers. We have, yep, at 9,100 feet. Reset your expectations. 11 hours of time, Sid. Totally fine. Hola, perritos. I always just thrilled when a dog doesn't want to rip my leg off. And here we go again. Please let that be the end of the climbing. Oh, 
I don't recognize this at all. Se puede pasar por aquí. Vale. Hola. Hola. Se puede pasar al interior. Sí. Vale. Ahí va, Yep, you're an idiot. Is that gonna be bad? I don't think so. There we go. Okay. That's what you get for getting kind of cocky. This one to be. Siete. Mira, la ciudad. ¿Cómo te fue? Claro. Se pasaron tres lucas. Sí. ¿De cuánto? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuatro? Eso es, no puedo. Oh, shoot. I lost this. ¿En la caída? Yeah. Mm. Uh... Anda. Vamos, Julián. At this point, the idea of walking over a mile to go get my GPS was apparently too much, and I had a little meltdown. Huge shout out to the guys who fixed my shifter levers and helped me carry my bike over the fence so that I could ride back without triggering the timing system. One of the best parts of stage racing is how, even though technically we're all racing each other, we're really all looking out for each other. And in this moment, this kindness meant a lot. Well, this sucks. When I fell over, I did not notice, but I lost my dash. Not what I wanted to do. Desperately not what I want to do right now. Ugh. Where are you, little GPS? Don't tell me I walked all the way up here to not find it. Oh, this is a pile of suck. My husband is getting a god <laughs> massage. That's what I walk back to, covered in blood and mud and extremely frustrated. Lowe's husband will let us in the god <laughs> room. <laughs> you must have gone somewhere in the snow and you didn't Probably eating <laughs> lunch. Lunch. <laughs> 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 now Lowe's throwing shoes at me. How are you? <laughs> Is this considered a couple's massage? <laughs> Despite the less than ideal last three minutes of my race, I'm really proud of this one. It wasn't a stage that favored my skill set, and it was at points supremely unenjoyable. But it wasn't my hardest day ever on a bike, and that says a lot. We found out later that Federico had actually broken his wheel and was unable to finish the stage, putting Mackie in a very good position to hold on to the overall. But tomorrow's stage proves more challenging than either of us could ever have anticipated. I was definitely struggling. I don't have those kind of legs today. Apparently being a quadruped is more efficient than being a bicyclist. Ugh.